If you share or re-upload any video this year, it's got to be this video because this video will make a big difference in the world, but only if you help out. This is Mike Mozart of Jeepers Media on YouTube, and I have to thank all my fans for thumbing up the question for Richard O'Dwyer, you know, the UK college student that's being extradited from the UK to the United States to face five to ten years in prison solely for linking to copyrighted material? Because you all cared so much, you thumbed up the question, and President Obama responded to it. Well, kind of answered it. Um, here, listen, you'll see what I mean. Mr. President, a lot of people are probably wondering, what was the number one voted question of all the 135,000 or so questions that were submitted? What was number one? It was actually a text question. I'm going to read it to you now. It comes from Michael Mozart in Connecticut, and he writes, Why are you personally supporting the extradition of British citizen Richard O'Dwyer for solely linking to copyright infringing works using an extradition treaty designed to combat terrorism and bring terrorists to judgment in the U.S.? And for those of you uh, who don't know Richard O'Dwyer, he's, he's a British student. The Justice Department is apparently seeking to, to extradite him to the U.S. for, for copyright infringement. Yeah, well, first of all, Steve, uh, I'm not personally doing anything uh, because... Yeah, I'm, I'm reading exactly no, what you no, wrote. I, so. I, <laughs> but, but I want to make sure everybody understands. Yeah. You know, uh, one, one of the ways our system works is that uh, the president doesn't get involved with prosecution decisions or extradition decisions. And this has been a decision uh, by the Justice Department. Uh, what I can say broadly is that we want to make sure that intellectual property is protected. We want to make sure that uh, you know, the creative works of people in this country uh, aren't expropriated, uh, but we want to do it in a way that's consistent with Internet freedom. Uh, and we're just going to keep on working on it. Uh, you know, uh, when SOPA came up on the Hill, we expressed some concerns about the way that the legislation uh, had been written. Uh, told folks, let's go back to the table and let's try to figure something out uh, that works for everybody. President Obama really didn't answer that question, but he really raised a lot of questions because he said one thing. He said he has no control over the prosecutions by the Department of Justice. He states that the president has no control. Wait, listen again. Uh, the president doesn't get involved with prosecution decisions or extradition decisions. And this has been a decision uh, by the Justice Department. The president has no control over prosecutions by the Department of Justice? Then why did he tell us that he wouldn't allow any prosecutions or actions based on the NDAA he signed New Year's Eve? Remember that, that law that lets the United States government just pick up people randomly on the street, put them in prison forever without any trials or lawyers? You remember that little, that little law he sort of snuck through New Year's Eve that he signed even though he promised he wouldn't? Afterwards, when he got his hand caught in the law cookie jar, he said, I shall never allow a prosecution to happen. But he just said he has no control over prosecutions by the Department of Justice. He has no control. Uh, the president doesn't get involved with prosecution decisions. Uh, the president doesn't get involved with prosecution decisions. President Obama said really wasn't factual anyway because the president of the United States has ultimate control over prosecutions because he can pardon anyone he wishes at will, without getting permission from anyone, and no one in the world can stop him. Uh, the president doesn't get involved with prosecution decisions. So President Obama claims that he has no control over the Department of Justice, that he handpicked all of the high-ranking members, that he personally appointed to those positions from the RIAA, you know, the Recording Industry Association of America, oh, plus a bunch of MPAA lawyers thrown in besides. So he has no control over them, so he's letting them run rampant. So he chose them knowing they would run slipshod over our entire intellectual property landscape. He put the fox in the hen house and gave them the keys. And he claims now he has no control. Uh, the president doesn't get involved with prosecution decisions. But you know what? I have a solution to this problem. If you look carefully at all this extradition paperwork to extradite Richard O'Dwyer to the United States to stand on this bogus trial for something that wasn't even illegal in the UK, the extradition was ordered by the MPAA, the Motion Picture Association of America. They only have six freaking members, Walt Disney, Sony Pictures, Paramount Pictures, 20th Century Fox, Universal Studios, and Warner Brothers. Oh, it becomes so clear now the president didn't want his MPAA, Motion Picture Association of America, gravy train of donations to derail. Of course he skirted that issue for them because they're the ones extraditing Richard O'Dwyer. He could have mentioned that. 
But I guess each time he mentions the wrong thing, his campaign dollars go down. We've already heard about that from Chris Dodd, haven't we? You can make a difference sitting right where you are right now. Wouldn't you like to take part in something meaningful? All you need to do is have an app called Flickster. You can download it. It includes Rotten Tomatoes, the rating site. And you're going to get this app, too. It's the International Movie Database. You can download this for just about every smartphone there is. You can also access both of these online for free. And you know what? You can log into both using your Facebook, and we're all going to rate movies together. Lots of them. It'll be fun. I saw this little post and go by in my Google Plus stream. Oh, they allow 13 and over now on Google Plus. Come follow me there so we can have fun there, too. Look, TechCrunch, more than half of adults use cell phones for purchasing decisions during the holidays. That's right. Most people refer to ratings for movies and DVDs before they buy them. People who have never even heard of ACTA or SOPA and don't care less, we can affect their buying decisions and they don't even know it. Remember, only read if you actually went to see the movie because these sites don't have any way to tell if you actually did. And you know what? I have over 400,000 subscribers. I imagine that enough of you care enough about your future and the internet, I'll bet 60,000, 80,000, 100,000 of you will join in with all of Richard O'Dwyer's supporters in the UK to really make a big difference. Actually, go see one of those crappy-ass movies the first day it comes out. That'll kill a blockbuster weekend. It'll destroy it. It'll devastate that blockbuster weekend. Because people look online and say, Hey, honey, I was going to go see that Dark Knight movie, but... But 82% of the critics liked it, but only 16% of the viewers liked it. Eh, we'll wait for it to come out on DVD. $300 million out the window. It's so easy. Now we're going to start rating all of them. Every single movie. I only have 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. You don't know what a difference this is going to be. Less than 1 one-hundredth of 1% 1 of actual moviegoers actually go there and rate the movies. Look how few have rated these popular movies. Go to Walmart.com. Look how few people actually rate these movies. Here's 20th Century Fox, MPAA members, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Only 16 customer reviews on Walmart.com. Oh my goodness. If you actually saw that movie, I think you need to rate it how you felt. When movies come out on DVD, you know, like Happy Feet 2, which I went to see in the theater, it sucked. I would rather be boiled alive in acid. I would rather have my head put on ice and squeezed for an hour than to see that crappy ass movie. So if you've seen that movie in the theater, <clears throat> go to Amazon.com right now and tell people how much it sucked in the theater because it's coming out on DVD. That's right, in March. Look on Amazon.com. Happy Feet 2 is advertised already. It's not out on DVD or Blu-ray yet. It's coming out March 13th. But look how people rated it that actually saw it in the movies. Wow. I really think that if you've seen this movie, because I don't think there's any way really here to tell, if you've actually seen that movie, go there and rate that movie. Rate all the different versions. There's several different versions of this. Make certain people know, if you didn't like it, what you thought of it. And you could be a tremendous influencer here. I mean, really. And how much our... Words of advice can mean to a lot of people, I'll go see it like everyone else will go see it opening night, opening weekend, the earliest sneak preview I can get in, and I'll let you know how bad it was. Well, if it was bad, it could be good. I doubt it. So don't forget to share this with all your friends. And you know all those DVDs and Blu-rays you got kicking around that sucked? Go to those sites right now and rate them all. Just look on the jacket for those MPAA members. And really tell people what you thought of those terrible movies to warn others, especially now that they're coming out on Blu-ray. The power you have in your hand to affect the future is so staggering. And I heard this from a lobbyist. It's their worst nightmare. No kidding. This is, this is their nightmare supreme. So one of our votes potentially could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and prevent hundreds of thousands of disappointed moviegoers. We should check them all, like Walmart.com, Target. And you write what your experience was in the theater when you actually saw it. But it's going to count on you doing this. It takes a minute to do it. And you can do it with your friends. And we're also going to write reviews on our Facebooks. And we're going to review it on Twitter. Opening night, we're going to start tweeting out. How, please remember, there's no way on these sites for anyone to tell if you actually saw it or not. Please only rate if you've actually seen it. Okay, so we're going to start doing that. And these are the movies we're going to start with. 
here's just an assortment of what we're beginning with. There's actually links in the description where you can go and give buzz ratings on Rotten Tomatoes to say if you're planning to see it or not. I'm not kidding. And you sign in with Facebook. How easy. And you know why rating is the best thing to do? Because it's legal. I prefer my lulls to be 100% legal. Oh, and don't forget to rate MPAA members Sony's products at places like Walmart, Best Buy, Target, Toys R Us, but only rate them if you actually bought them because most of these sites don't even have a way to check if you did. So if you see Sony headphones, I want you to look at those headphones and say, they're extraditing a UK college student to the USA. I don't want that crap in my home. So just think about it. So next Christmas, you're gonna have yourself a Sony free Christmas. And whatever rating sites you have in your country, please put those in the comments so I can add links to them in the description underneath this video. And I really wanna promote independent films. Like if you know independent films that are actually getting in the cinemas, let me know. Send them to my Jeepers Media at YouTube and let me know the movies and who's producing them. And let's, let's promote those people when they come in the theaters. Let's get some quality movies out there where people can see them. And please share this video everywhere. Download it and re-upload it. Use that remix button right under the screen. Post this all over the internet if you wish. Make sure that you share this with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. Make sure you thumb it up so people will find it on the charts if it actually shows up on them. And do your best to get people to see this because all we need is a few thousand dedicated people and we'll let the world really know what we think of some of these movies. And don't forget to share this on 9gag and Tumblr and Reddit because those are the sites that they're going to use these laws to take down. Let's get the word out because now we have a way to speak out where our voice will be heard really, really loud, like hundreds of millions of dollars loud, like potentially billions of dollars screaming loud. When big blockbusters fall on their face because people rate them honestly when they first come out. And you know what? If you follow Jeepers Media on Twitter or you follow me on Facebook.com slash Mike Mozart, you will know what movies to avoid and you can warn your friends about it. Make sure if you copy this video to take the links from the description and add them to your re-upload so people can find these movies and Richard O'Dwyer's mother's information. You know, the poor UK student that's being extradited to the United States by Disney and Sony and Universal. You get the picture. I've been getting so many little threats and things about these videos I'm putting up. I just gotta say one thing. I have 400,000 subscribers on YouTube and remember the, the Streisand effect is a bitch. <sighs> Isn't it marvelous? Legal lulls are the best lulls of all. Trust me. And to Elkie David, I know you asked me not to post this video and hold off on it, but I went ahead and posted it anyway. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs>